He is known for being a Canadian writer who excelled in multiple literary genres. He was recognized as one of Canada's most celebrated authors and esteemed men of letters. William Robertson Davies was the founding master of Massey College and made significant contributions to the field of literature. In the world of Canadian literature, one name stands out, Robertson Davies, a man of many talents and a true titan of letters. Born in Ontario, Canada, Davies would go on to become one of the country's most celebrated authors and intellectuals. His contributions to literature, academia, and the arts are nothing short of remarkable. Davies' literary prowess was evident from an early age. As a novelist, playwright, critic, and journalist, he captivated audiences with his insightful storytelling and sharp wit. His works, such as Fifth Business, The Deptford Trilogy, and The Cunning Man, are considered masterpieces of Canadian literature. These novels delve into the complexities of human nature, exploring themes of identity, fate, and the interplay between myth and reality. But Davies' impact extended far beyond his written works. He was also a dedicated professor and the founding master of Massey College, a prestigious graduate residential college affiliated with the University of Toronto. As a professor, Davies inspired countless students with his passion for literature and his ability to provoke deep intellectual thought. He fostered a community of scholars and artists, creating an environment where creativity and learning thrived. Robertson Davies' legacy as a man of letters is a testament to the profound significance of literature in our lives. His works continue to resonate with readers around the world, captivating them with his rich characters, intricate plots, and profound insights into the human condition. Through his writing and his role as an educator, Davies left an indelible mark on the literary landscape, inspiring generations of writers and readers alike. In the 1980s and 1990s, Robertson Davies had already established himself as a prominent figure in the literary world. After retiring from his position at the university, he published his seventh novel, The Rebel Angels, a satirical take on academic life. This was followed by What's Bred in the Bone, which garnered critical acclaim and was even shortlisted for the Booker Prize for Fiction in 1986. Continuing his creative streak, Davies then released The Liar of Orpheus, the final installment of what would be known as the Cornish Trilogy. Even in his retirement, Davies remained dedicated to his craft. He penned two more novels that further solidified his reputation as a major literary figure. Murder and Walking Spirits and The Cunning Man showcased his unique blend of deep psychological inquiry, fantastical elements, and a playful sense of humor. In fact, Davies had a third novel in progress, intended to be part of the Toronto Trilogy, at the time of his passing. During this period, Davies also had the opportunity to fulfill a long-held dream. He wrote the libretto for Randolph Peters' opera, The Golden Ass, based on The Metamorphoses of Lucius Apuleius. This idea had been inspired by one of the characters in Davies's 1958 novel, A Mixture of Frailties. Although Davies did not live to see the opera's performance, it was staged by the Canadian Opera Company in Toronto in April 1999, several years after his death. Throughout his life, Davies maintained close friendships with notable figures. He remained a dear friend of economist John Kenneth Galbraith, attending Galbraith's 85th birthday celebration in Boston in 1993. Additionally, his bond with American novelist John Irving grew so strong that Irving delivered one of the scripture readings at Davies's funeral, held in the chapel of Trinity College, Toronto. Davies also used his influence to support Salman Rushdie during the controversial period when Rushdie faced threats following the publication of his novel, The Satanic Verses. Robertson Davies's literary achievements in the 1980s and 1990s showcased his ability to intertwine serious themes with elements of fantasy and humor. His novels resonated with readers, and his friendships with influential figures further solidified his place in the literary world. Davies's legacy continues to inspire and captivate audiences today. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.